Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You are watching our Cloud School. Here in this video, we will talk about triggers with Azure Data Factory Pipeline. So far in our previous videos, whenever we have set up the pipeline, we were running those pipeline in a debug mode. But what if you would like to run the pipeline independently without debugging the pipeline? So you can perform this action with the help of trigger option. So you can set up a trigger and you can execute the pipeline without debugging it actually. So let me show you how do you do that. So I'm going to use this ADF instance for the demonstration. So I'll be creating a new pipeline. So let me just create a new pipeline. I'll click here, new pipeline. That will open a canvas to for the new pipeline. So I'll simply create a copy data activity pipeline. So that will basically require a source and sync data set to be provided. So the objective of the pipeline is to basically simply create a copy activity. So I'm going to provide a source data set, which is going to be a blob storage. So I would like to copy a CSV file from source location to destination location. So I'll be selecting this delimiter text file, which is going to be supported by CSV file. So I'm going to give it a name as in source and then link service, I'll be providing a new link service account. So let's create a new link service account and I'll call it as in blob source. Okay. And we'll keep the integration runtime as in Azure manage integration runtime and we'll be connecting to the storage account on my our cloud school subscription. And here are the subscription or the storage account which we have, which we would like to use it. So let's create a link service first of all, and then attach this link service to the data set, to the data set. Link service is successfully created. I can click on the browse option. So now my data set will use this link service to connect to the storage account and it will display all the containers available within this storage account. So let's say in this storage account, I do not have so in this history account from this history account i want to copy a file as of now the storage account does not have any file so what i'm going to do is i have this storage account i'll be uploading a csv file onto this storage account so let me just perform an upload operation so i'll simply browse the files and here's my file upload and and now I'll click on the browse again just to make sure that so here is our file which is available now here for the source data set the source data set is set up successfully as we are targeting only one file so I have to use the wildcat character so for the wildcat character I'm going to use the CSV so that will copy your CSV file similarly I have to provide your sync which is a target data set so I'll again create a target data set which is a blob storage we'll use the same delimiter type and we'll provide the DS destination and then link service again we are going to create another storage account link service so this is this time it is going to point to our target storage account so our target storage account is a demo storage account so let's just grab the key and test the connection so that is it next i'm going to browse the output container that is where we would like to push the file so our output and inputs are ready now the option we have is simply just use the debug option to run the pipeline so let me just verify our source container and also i will open the destination container on the other tab. So option we have is let's debug that and that will basically run the pipeline and copy the file which we have mentioned. So our pipeline is successfully completed. As we can see, if I click here on this lens icon, you will you'll find the detail that it has read one file and write one file to the target storage account. Now, if we just verify the target storage account, which is here, and you can see that we have successfully copied this file at this location, right? And that is what we want to do now. But the objective is how do you want to run this pipeline automatically? Now to run this pipeline automatically, you can use this trigger option. So you can set up a trigger now, or you can just click the trigger now. So that will trigger the pipeline. But 
before it triggers the pipeline the pipeline requires to be published so as of now this pipeline which we have built is not published at the moment hence you cannot use the trigger option so first of all what you have to do is you have to trigger this pipeline so let me before before i trigger that let me just try and publish this so i'm going to publish this these are my three changes so along with that it I have already created the integration runtimes as well and the link service link services are these two link service but also it has created this integration runtime right what let's go back to the pipeline to run it with the trigger option if we can run it let's trigger this now and this time you can see that uh, we are getting this ok button without having any error which means that as the pipeline is published successfully we should be able to run it with the trigger option so I'm triggering it now as you can see that the pipeline is started if i click here view pipeline that has opened this monitoring option so in the monitoring option we have the pipeline runs and you can see that it is showing the pipeline run so instead of having the debug mode it's actually showing the actual run mode with the trigger option right so let's wait for this copy activity or the pipeline to be completed so it is completed now so let's just verify the changes so to verify the change what we can do is uh, and all your pipeline runs you can find it here so this was our run which we have recently performed and if i just expand it here you will find the details of all the activities which are being executed as part of this pipeline so which activities succeeded which of them is not completed and then you can also see the details of individual activities it's the same experience what we were getting it with the debug mod so if i see the changes of the copy activity it's just getting displayed here right again i can come here and try and rerun again if i would like to rerun it let's say if you want to uh, rerun due to some reason then same instance can be rerun again or if you would like to debug uh, or if if you would like to debug a particular instance of the pipeline for an example this one let's debug that that is also you can basically see the debug option so and if you want to edit it that will directly open the edit mode of the pipeline like this right so this was it a quick demonstration how do you perform the trigger you can add a trigger or you can simply perform the trigger right here from this option or you can go to the monitoring option and you can trigger a pipeline which has already been executed or rerun the pipeline again so that is it in this video in the next video we will talk about the triggers which is a scheduled type of trigger with the pipeline i hope you found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video